What is quickest over the standing quarter mile between the new BMW M440i Coupe and an old E61 BMW M5? We are going to find out because we're going to have a drag race. So I'm sitting in the M440i. It has a three litre straight six single turbo engine with 374 horsepower and 500 newton metres of torque. It's got all wheel drive and eight speed automatic gearbox with launch control and it weighs in at just over 1800 kilos. If you want one of these new, you're talking around 55,000 pounds. Now that old M5, if you want to buy that car right now, that'll set you back 25 grand but in the noughties it was around 60,000 pounds it has a glorious five liter naturally aspirated v10 engine which has a tendency to eat itself you have to get the rod bearings replaced otherwise the engine will just go bang and it'll cost you loads to fix anyhow it puts out a lot of power 507 horsepower 520 newton meters of torque that car is heavier than this though it doesn't help that it's the estate version it weighs in it just under two tons it's a real wheel drive obviously and it's got a really crappy gearbox it's a seven speed robotized manual gearbox sounds odd it's called an smg which means suck my rude word beginning with g can you think of one let me know in the comments below it does have launch control but we're not going to use the launch control on it because invariably it's actually worse than holding it on the brake because that thing just loses traction like that we're going to see what happens before we do though please make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already now i'm talking about you and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on that way you will not miss a single one of these uploads also why don't you follow me on instagram at matt watson cars i do loads of behind the scenes stuff and you'll probably find out some of the cars we're going to be racing before we even race them Let's do this. Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow, and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. As ever, for a CarWow drag race, we are going to do a sound check. So what does this modern turbocharged engine sound like? I'm going to rev it up. Oh my God, it revs all the way to the red line. That is wicked. Ooh, impressed, actually. Let's hear the old M5. Which do you think sounds the best? I'll put a pin comment below this video. Go vote which car you thought sounded the best. Okay, you ready? Let's do it. Three, two. Didn't have it in gear. Let's try again. Three, two, one. I was looking back at that thing change gear, it like lurches up in the air. Gear change for that automatic gearbox is just rubbish. Smash, smash, smashed. Okay, M5, that looked horrible. Yeah, it's not very good being its power down, and then this old SMG gearbox. Compared with the latest ZF1 in that BMW, it's just leagues behind, unfortunately. But it sounds glorious. Well, I couldn't hear it because I was just so far ahead. I've got an idea. When the starter starts the race, you can go on one and I'll see if I can catch you up. What do you reckon? Very kind of you. Yeah, let's do it. This could be fun. Three, two, one. Off he goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh! I'm watching just jerk and it changes gear. This is quicker. Oh, poor E61. Even with that head start, it wasn't great, was it? No, I can't believe the difference between the modern gearbox launch control stuff to this. But again, sounded good. It's quite funny. I'm just looking across at you and seeing that car like bark every time it changed gears. It's like, ah, ah. It's shit, isn't it, that gearbox? I mean, to fair, you can come off the throttle and then change, but it's quicker, obviously, to just flat shift and accept the massive bucking Bronco. It looks like it's going to tear itself to pieces every time it changes gear. Hey, I've obviously borrowed this car today and I'm just a bit worried. And actually, it's a mate of mine. I, I, I don't want to break it. <laughs> <laughs> Although you've launched it quite a few times. Oh well, let's move on. So then, what exactly happened? Well, the M440i did the standing quarter mile in 12.2 seconds, while the M5 took 12.6 seconds. But when you factor in the head start, its true time was 13.6 seconds. 
Now we're going for a rolling race from 50 miles an hour with the cars in their comfiest settings. Automatic mode for the gearbox. And I'll call it in. Three, two, one, go. The kickdown didn't seem so bad on that. But my God. This turbo. That was very telling, wasn't it? Was that the gearbox, the engine combination of the two? Well, it's a bit of the gearbox, but also the fact that there's peak power on this engine, something like seven, 750 revs, and peak torque isn't until something like 6.1. So, you know, there's a lot of waiting around, but again, sounded good though. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be your answer, isn't it? Sounded good, though. It's interesting, actually. This produces its peak torque of 500 newton meters, which is less than your car's peak torque, but it just comes in straight away. And so you're just off. This thing flies. Let's try something else to take the crappy gearbox out of the equation. Let's do another rolling race from 50 miles an hour. This time, the car's locked in third gear and everything in their sportiest settings. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Not such a difference this time, but every time he changes his gear, that car just goes there. Getting a little bit closer to me that time. Let's try something else. Okay, let's do this again. I'll do exactly the same, so I'll be in third gear, but you can be in second gear. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Can I pull it back? Can I pull it back? Oh, oh, yes. His revs are playing out now and he needs to get on his brakes. Oh my gosh, a stone just came flying across and actually somehow hit the side window. God, I wish those blooming hazards wouldn't stop going off. You've got a chip in the side window. Anyway, you won that. Yeah, there's my power band, and it sounds really good as well. <laughs> well, in this next test, I don't think your car's going to sound quite so good. No, the old uh, dashboard's looking a bit like a Christmas tree at the moment, so we'll see how it goes. What, an old BMW's dashboard full of warning lights? How unusual. Okay, finally then, we're going to do a brake test from 70 miles an hour. There's a reason he's going to lose this, it's because there's a fault on his car. You'll find out what it is in a moment. It's quite funny, or not, if you're the owner. You'll see why. I'm pretty confident I've got this. Here's the line. It's fine when you're doing an emergency stop, I guess. See that? His ABS has failed. So my driver was having to brake, then lift off and brake and lift off. Like the good old days when I learned to drive. Well managed. He didn't totally destroy the tires. Yeah, I had to go for a bit of uh, manual ABS there with my, <laughs> using my leg. <laughs> it was so much slower than normal ABS. <laughs> she was like, ee -uh, ee -uh. it was quite funny. It's good to see the differences between these cars. Obviously, that's a lot cheaper. If you'd like to see how much you can save on one of these M440Is through CarWow, click on the pop-out banner up there or follow the link below the video because you can just check out the saving. It's quite interesting, actually. Alternatively, if you're thinking about buying a new car, all you have to do is Google Help Me Car Wow, and my team and I will help you choose the right car for you and get it for a fair price from one of our trusted dealers. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. If you click on those windows there, you can watch some more drag racing. And if you click on that box there, you can check out the CarWow Drag Race leaderboard where you can see how these cars compared to other cars we've drag raced in the past. Thanks for watching.